Hello and welcome to Be Open here in the Xfinity series, or I guess that's what that means. <laughs> We're at Legacy Atlanta and uh, we've got a huge field, uh, 6,000 strength of field. We're the 19, I don't know why this is such a gigantic strength of field. Um, I guess, you know, it's the first race of the week I decided to jump into, and uh, Arca's at a road course, there's some other stuff at, uh, like, the Gen 4's at a super speedway, and so maybe just a lot of people wanted to join here at uh, Legacy Atlanta, because it's a popular destination, but I was not expecting this at all. Um, I chose not to qualify, as you can see, as we're ready to grid up. I've got an old setup that Daniel shared with me, which hopefully will be okay. Uh, it should be, uh, even if it is technically outdated. And um, you can see we're starting pretty far in the back, which hopefully will work out for us. Um, One to go. Next time by. I'm pretty nervous. I was not inside. really prepared close, to do close, such a close. crazy, highly com competitive race. We got multiple. Yeah, there it is right there. 60. <laughs> 60-60 is the strength of field. Yeah, tight field today, that's for sure. We have the 19 car has a 5.6 case uh, I rating. I like I never have the chance to be such a high car number anymore, and so I don't really get the chance to forego qualifying, but um, I like to do that whenever I'm a higher car number. I think it can work out, so we're just going to take it easy. Hopefully this will be a clean race. We got lots of uh, very talented people in here, but uh, you never know. They could be lots of talented but impatient people and uh, end up in some dangerous situations. And um, talented people seem to tend to expect perfection out of everybody else, too. Um, so, you know, there's tight quarters and then things can happen. And uh, you know, that's just my experience. So, um, we're going to take it easy, hopefully, just uh, be easy on the tires here at Atlanta. I think the right rear could potentially wear more than the right front, if we're not careful. So I'm going to be aware of that. Hopefully get long runs to take advantage of uh, maybe taking it easy with the tires. We're going to see what happens. Now wait a while with this big Catch field. It is a full field of cars. Field of cars. I want to say it's like 30? 30 people in here? I'll take a look. 28. 28 people. Okay. So. Almost 30. We're supposed to finish 19th or so, which, you know, I guess that would be fine. I don't really know what to expect, if this is going to be an immaculately clean race, or if this is just going to be off-the-wall crazy. We're going to find out here real soon. Over 6,000 strength of field. That's got to be one of the highest strength of fields I've ever done, if not the highest. Like, that's absurd. I'm still kind of trying to get my feet under me after being away for three weeks, and they throw me in the frickin' Coke series. Get ready. Going green. <laughs> so... Hopefully this goes well. Um, hopefully the guys behind me are willing to be a little bit patient because I'm just trying to take it easy off the start. We are going to be going here momentarily. There it is. Alright. Definitely could end up seeing some guys get real loose on the cold tires. I have to keep my eyes open for that. Still there. Clear high. Lots of space behind us. I like it. They look really close up together in that pack in front of us, so I'm going to back off a little bit. Just being a little bit cautious. Don't want to get caught in anything. I could see a big wreck happening early. So many people so close together. But so far, so good. I haven't seen any contact. Taking it easy on the tires. Gonna let the guy behind us by if he wants to go by. Just 
going bottom lane assuming that'll be the best on the tires getting lots of rotation down there in the bottom lane so that's why I'm trying not to gas up too much middle or exit and uh, hurt that right rear Outside. 26 looking to pass, that's totally Outside. fine, we are just chilling. They are like four wide up there, so Still there. Hold your line. I'm okay with being back here right now. Outside, you're clear. I don't think we're going to go green 27. the whole way. Okay, Thompson, our fuel window opens on lap 29, we'll close on lap 53. You can see they're three wide up there, and these guys are talented enough they could, they could do that and make it just fine. But I'm not so real, uh, willing to roll the dice here on lap 5 now. Putting my uh, race in their hands. Looks like they're running into each other now in that three wide little situation up there. So I'm just... just watching. Being patient. And if nothing happens, at least our tires are going to be in good shape. They look like they've evened out just a little bit more up there. Gotten in the line, I don't see three wide anymore. Don't want to fall too far back, so maybe we'll it up a little bit. That's the fastest lap of the race. That's my fastest lap of the race, speaking of. See we got some green on the session last lap. Still gonna be doing big liftoffs. Maybe this will go green. They had me worried there, but things calming down a little bit, although I do see three wide again up there. In a 90 lap race, 45 will be halfway, so we'll be considering pitting right about then if it does go green. With how soft we're going right now, maybe we go a little longer though. That was a At least everyone's still in our sight. Even the leader is still out there in the distance, but... Or maybe he's not. Maybe the draw distance cut him off. <laughs> still lots of cars to see. Our head looking like he's getting pretty yawed out. Getting a little loose, maybe. How much will these uh, tires come in for us? You now Atlanta chews up the tires for sure, so maybe we'll have some guys coming back to us. Tire saving really never seems to work for me though, to be honest. Even when I'm trying to save tires, I'm usually somehow hurting them, so... Six is almost drifting up into the wall, it looked like. Looked like he got tight. We get a little bit loose.
car outside. Okay, that guy's cutting really close for no Very reason. Low. Happy to let him by. Still there, hold your line. Yeah. Gave us about a centimeter on the right rear as he went to Very our low. outside. The car on the high side. Clear. Go on then, did he just run into the 26? What are we doing back here? Why are we wrecking for last, literally? You hear that guy. The car outside. Keep low. Clear up I'm trying to chill out in the 27. <laughs> slams into his quarter panel, nearly puts us in a wreck. A27, you've just done a 33.0. Apparently an accident though, we apologize for it. Maha is leading the race. See, we got about 46 laps of fuel. Your last lap time was I do expect to go a little bit longer on this run. But not too long. Maybe we will go to like 50 or more. Love to gain some of this back distance we lost. We did have to lift a little bit whenever the uh, 27 ran into the 26. That lost us some time, unfortunately, but not too much. I wonder how much I'm going to be wishing I'm up in the draft. How much that's going to affect things. I wouldn't think too bad, but... We do still have a little bit of draft from the 27, and it's not doing all that much, so I don't think that's mattering too bad. We're kind of just kicking our butts up there right now. When, if ever, will these tires come in? Currently, right now, they're still driving away from us. The car in front of us is Johnson. That lap was a 32.8. 27 getting a little loose up there in front of us. Started getting back a little bit, it looks like, on the field. We're getting pretty loose out of two. I hope this car comes to us. We're still only halfway through about uh, this fuel run. We've got plenty of time for things to pick up for us. But we did. We are pretty far back. The lap time was at 33.0. bug on the windshield right where I'm trying to look. Almost. It's kind of funny. Oh, 
Are they three wide up there? They look like they got close, maybe. We are starting to reel them in a little bit. Well, at least we're consistently slow, according to the crew chief. That's worth something, I guess. computer just had a stutter. I don't know if that came through in the recording, but that makes me a little nervous. It reminds me of the time it crashed the 87s at South Boston, I think it was. I wonder if we ever uh, migrate up the track at all, particularly through 1 and 2. Probably pretty bad for the tires, but it would be nice to get some back on these guys ahead of us. Maybe if it gets closer to pit stop time, we'll do that. There's already some people up ahead doing it, so that kind of takes away the potential of... Whoops, getting a little too loose. The potential of uh, having that cool track all to ourselves. Oh, someone down in the grass. He's doing ramps. Oh, we're gonna have to take the high side this time. Just gonna give the room there, and this will be the time we experiment with the high line, I guess. Definitely gives us some runoff. It's a lot of speed. I guess if we're gonna be experimenting, we'll try it up here in this lap as well. Yep, definitely faster. But at what cost? I don't know. B26, the captain Johnson. Ahead is now 0.9. I think guys are definitely having some handling issues now. Judging by some of the things I'm seeing up in front of us. I think we be a little bit more patient and then maybe start running higher later. So the 15 was the one that went through the grass before. He's about two seconds back of us now. Oh, lots of people moving up the track in front of us now. Taking that higher line. about 32 laps in our fuel tank. Maybe we just go extra long. We're taking care of the tires in a way that maybe that'll benefit us. Might start going high line in one and two though because it is pretty loose down there at the bottom. I don't think I need this car any more loose. That lap time was 33.3. It doesn't feel like it's hurting the tires too bad being up there, but all my experience on iRacing always tells me that's what happens if you drive the high line, you kill the right front. Lap 
Something's happening ahead. I see some checkups. Maybe? Maybe not. Wonder when we're gonna start seeing our first pitters. Probably a little before 45. Could get some undercutters. Gap two, Johnson ahead is now one point one. Kind of keeping a tiny bit of uh, throttle in it, even around entry, just to stabilize this thing, because it likes to dive to the left when you're fully off throttle. Just trying to keep it stable as we hit our line. The yellow flag is yeah, there's a yellow. Where is it? It's like the 15 crash? That kind of sucks. We just gotta fill it up, don't. Really, it was really interesting to interested to see how that went, but we make it on fuel to the end now. Ten point seven gallons. Ten point seven. It's gonna be close, I think. But I think we can make it. Pit roads open. We're definitely coming in either way. Pits are open. So did the guy in last literally wreck? Is that what happened? Not last, maybe second to last. Didn't necessarily like how that went. It's tire saving, I don't know if tire saving that way is really what I want to be doing. We needed that to go green, I think. Catch the pace car. Pit lane speed limit is 50 miles per hour. Pit box in five. Three, to stop again. Two, one, right here. Early pit stop, 75-69. So we're on the right rear. All clear, punch it. Probably just gonna be right where we were. They want you in single file. 60, yeah, we're good to the end now on fuel. Couple people back there. How did the five get there? Why is he showing a lap ahead of us? That's weird. I'd have lap down, right? Right? I hope. I don't know how that would happen. Yeah, we're good. Not sure what's going on there. One to go. Next time by. Okay, Line up on the inside. Get up. 27. Done. Some people topping off. We should have just enough fuel to the end. I don't think we need to top off, though. I think I go a little bit harder, not kill the tires, but go a little bit harder? I don't know, but what if they start wrecking this time? I'm torn. Two sets of tires left. Got some penalty, it looks like. So guy's gonna be trying to make their way forward again after penalties. Could get dangerous out here. More urgency now that we're later in the race. Get ready, going green. The 
Ice car is in. Ice car is off. Be ready. See him going, but we are not going. We're outside so we can fade up. Car inside. Still there, inside. Still there. Going for some track position, I think. Heat high. 20 second place. Clear inside. I just want to do some racing because that whole first run was kind of snoozy. I think unless I have a chance to pass though, we will go down low. didn't want to be three wide. That's not what I wanted. I backed off a little bit there because I did not like that call. I didn't know if the 23 was going to be able to do anything about being there. Oh shoot. Clear. Low car up high. Car inside. The yellow flag is out. They want you to be three wide. Close pit road. Whoa. Okay. We got that slowed down. We're good. Line up single file. Car number 23. We're under caution. It's closed. All right. That was a dangerous place to be. I didn't want to just dodge a left because it looked like there was guy there were guys coming faster down low. Okay, where are we gonna be? We get our spots back because we didn't touch anything. Alright. We got some track position. And uh, I think we stay out here pretty clearly. I'm not sure where we are, we're still pretty far back, but. Some track position and some guys that we should be able to beat now, assuming their damage is significant in any way. 1.4 gallons. Now saying we're short, but that's okay because we got some caution laps here to save some fuel. Oh. Pit road is closed right now. Get the brakes in front of us. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Not sure what happened there. I just saw two guys come together, it looked like. Thought I heard someone say something about three wide. Looks like we're maybe P17. That's pretty good. I mean, that's right about where we're supposed to finish in such a strong field so yeah now dude it's like you bounced off dude on the outside got me. already down to one degree and that's cool Let's get this thing going. One lap to green. Okay, You'll be lining up on the inside. The end of this lap. I think we'll take the same approach, like uh, take some passes when we maybe can get them. But back it down and take easy corners. Otherwise. I think we're doing okay. I'm okay with this. The heavy tire saving at the start maybe wasn't exactly what we needed. But we can adjust from that, and uh, we've survived. P17 right now is not bad at all. Good on fuel. Zero point nine gallons. Still saying not quite, but our pace will slow down a whole lot here. I think we should be able to make it without too much trouble. 
Hopefully we go green to the end now. About to go green, stay focused. Off. See a darn thing. Get a pretty good jump. I'm making a move on the outside. I don't want to come to this guy's inside. Oh, we got something happening out there. We got tight. Maybe. Guys, gonna have a run on the outside. Don't want to block that off. Although it looks like I probably could have. It's, def it's definitely tighter here in this uh, group. I guess because of the arrow. Past the 10. Ooh, this is tight. Alright, so I don't mean the handling, I mean the cars are close to one another. Though it is a little tighter, like I said, with the uh, big pack in front of us, that arrow push causing a little bit more of understeer. Oh no, oh no, we're in it, we're in it, we're in it, we're in it. We're not in it? How? How are we not in that? Whoa! Okay. Okay, well, that's one of my nine lives. Thank you, anyway. I wouldn't have got there without you. We gotta wait on a 23 car. I don't know if they're damaged or what, but we gotta wait on them. Nope. I guess we don't. That was a handful of people caught in that. I don't know if we made it through that for real or if that was like a net code situation or what. But wow. Okay, this is where we need to be. I think I'm still going to stay out. We haven't done too many laps yet, still. Everyone's coming in, though. I don't want to be in the lead. Watch your speed. Okay, Colton. Yeah, we just got to do what they do here. Five, three, two, one. Right here. Not matching what those guys do would have just put us in a really bad situation. 96, 95, that could make a difference anyway. All clear, punch it. Okay. See where we end up now, because there were definitely some people that got some damage there. You only have one tire step remaining. Line up Man, I was just miles. hitting the brakes, scrambling left and right, trying to figure out where cars weren't. I feel like there's no way we didn't net code through somebody through that, because that looked like a wall of cars, and there were cars flying up behind us as well. I don't know how they didn't run into us there. I was just on the brakes. 
and keeping the wheel steady. I guess it worked out. We don't have anything, right? No damage. Car looks clean. No Car damage. Six. Car. six maybe checking the 12 for damage. It's he might open. know that guy or something. That looks like there. Well, how about that? Definitely good on fuel. We're in 10th place. After surviving that absolute nonsense. Track position worked out, I guess, as long as we missed the wreck. Y'all watch out. Andrew Navarro is trying to wreck people on the golf. I'm really pissed. I mean, I, I'm just... Ah! Sure what's going on there. How many people are left on the track? Less than 28, that's for sure. I'd be mad, too, if the crocmobile drug me down pit road. He put those shifts in sport mode and just... I mean, he got out of there. Well, we'll be 10th. We've got a lot of people that are faster than me behind us. Some of them with damage, though. Man, this is pretty scary. The intensity has definitely ramped up. One to go. Next time by. Oh, You're on the inside. On the My bad. Side. I thought we were tenth. Apparently we are in ninth. It says eighth because I was in front of the twelve, right, getting ready to line up. Ninth place somehow. Feel like uh, that could easily go out the window in another wreck, and it seems like that's something that could definitely happen. So I guess let's just try not to be the wreck. Be the wreck or be in it. Do what we can. I don't think it put more fuel in it. I guess we don't need it. Should get ready. Going green. To the end. Try our best to see when we jump. Post car is off. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Green flag, green flag. You're in the top ten. Outside. Turn to position. Go low. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Hold your line. I got a little loose. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Stay low. Oh man, this is tight racing, this is scary, man. Higher line's definitely got more speed, but I can't really go up there right now. At least we'll be uh, nicer to the tires at the moment. Guy looking middle, three wide maybe? Are we three wide? It's close to it. Oh, there are centimeters separating us right now. Can't move up high. Stay low. Stay low. The high line just kind of blowing past us right now. Stay low. Check up into the corner. Yikes. We make slight contact with the guy ahead, but nothing major. Still there, 
Yeah, we got to move up here. We're hemorrhaging spots. Hopefully we can uh, start moving up on this higher line. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, the 15 gets loose. That was a bad place for that to happen. He holds on to it, though. The middle and outside right now are really good, but how bad is it going to be on the tires if this goes green? Get to his outside. It's pushing bad. Yikes, that was not good. Less grip up there than I expected. Back it down a little bit. That really heated up our right front right there. Outside. 12 going to the outside. Clear up top. I did not. Car is very tight. Outside. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Outside. Wow, why is the car so tight? This is it's like I went up there one time and it's just plowing now. Clear inside. That was much better. A little bit of break already. Wouldn't mind it if the car started trending a little loose now. That guy's faster, so I'm not concerned about that. Put him by. B14. That lap time was 32.3. Starting to get the tires cooled down a little bit, which is nice, because it was plowing real bad for a minute there, dangerously bad where I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to successfully hold my line in a group. Seven to our outside, he's clear. We gotta do some maintenance right now. Bring our tires back. Ten's coming up, I'm gonna leave the bottom for him. Car inside. Fifteenth place. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Clear.
they've got so much more speed on entry right now. P16, the lock time was 32.8. Car outside. I'm at the right. Clear high. Outside. Gotta leave a lane up there. There's the truck Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Outside is clear. Outside. Still there. Stay low, there is a car Man, you on the saw it. I mean, we were on the right rear after that first run, but I guess running the higher lines early here just has killed it. And handling. Maybe track condi conditions just changing? No idea. We're in last of the people on the track. Oh, I see a little smoke. I think somebody got the wall. Huh. Well, we're 19th. That's where we're supposed to finish anyway. I don't know if the 17 is going to want to get by us as a lap car. I kind of understand because we're so so freaking slow, but i uh, kind of hoping he doesn't. Let's us just run the line we want to run. But again, I understand if he doesn't want to wait behind us because we're falling off bad. Why he would choose to go to the outside. If I could tell him, I would tell him my car is uh, really tight right now. I don't know if you want to go out there, but. I mean, I guess I could tell him, but. I, th I guess he's content with staying back there. He's probably in lucky dog position, so I'm sure he doesn't want to get into any wrecks. Everyone up on the high side ahead. I still want to get some more handling back in this thing, get it turning a little bit better before I start moving up or anything like that. It's starting to feel better though, I will say that. Maybe getting that uh, the right front tire heat back down. Maybe uh, also because we don't have that huge block of cars in front of us and all that dirty air. That could also be contributing. That was a 33.0. But it is feeling a little bit better. Might start uh, going back up high. Although I don't know, because there's a lot of cars taking that line up there. It is nice having the open track down on the bottom. So maybe we'll continue doing that. I mean, honestly, the bottom's looking pretty good right now, actually. Compared to those directly in front of us. Okay, now it's starting to get a little loose again. That too, so maybe our uh, our tight issue is over. Car outside. Not too struggling, I think. 
keep low. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. That lap was at 33.2. Clear outside if you want it. Okay. Slide up, that's good. We got some low car numbers taken out of the race from Rex. Guys, I was definitely not going to beat otherwise. Very thankful I made it through that wreck. We are definitely looking at that after the race, by the way. Just uh, as well as the other incidents. But that one especially, I want to see how I made it through that. Oh wow, it's pretty tight up here actually. Is that even better than the low side? Whoa, 21! Four tires sliding right into the path of the 16. We're going to clear the car there, but we did clear the 16. Whoa, that's kept turning. Yikes. Before it said clear. That was pretty uh, gutsy. Outside. He's cutting it real close. There was a car on the high side. That's good consistency. Keep it low. Guy in the wall. Keep low. You're on the bottom, three wide. Outside, two wide. You're in the middle, three wide. Keep low. Did not see what was happening. Still there, hold your line. Clear. I have no idea what happened there. P15. Car outside. Clear outside if you want it. Oh, that bottom was working for me well right now. Shot past the 12. Where are we now? P14. Let me try this high side, see how much speed's in it, because we only got about 10 to go. I don't know if I like it though. I think I like that bottom. We'll try over here as well and see what it gives us. Okay, that was faster, so I think we're going bottom one and two, high side three and four. Kind of the opposite of what you expect here, which is wild. Might be a track temp thing. It's the opposite because that's not where people run, typically. Some smoke up ahead. Ooh, we're cutting it close over there. Driving it hard. Just keep hitting your mark. Last lap time was at 33.3. Keeping it down low over here in one and two, harvicking it. I'm gonna go back to the bottom in three and four here, see how that feels. Okay, Colton, there's a car 
It wasn't bad, but it's still slower. Eight laps to go. Excuse me. This has been exciting. Hope it goes green, because I definitely don't want to do like a green-white checkered or anything. Man, I'm having fun. This is great. Good consistency. Keep them coming. You've just done a 33.3. But I'm still working pretty darn well in one and two. Slowly catching up to the ten, maybe. Got a nice gap behind us of 1.2. Try middle here. Hey, that that worked. I'm gonna do middle now. How about middle one and two? Yeah, where we expected to be. Yeah, where we expected. I'm doing better than I expected to be, honestly. Ooh, that got loose. I think that was actually going to be pretty good, though, if I didn't get loose. I might try that again. It's wanting a snap on exit on me. Okay, didn't get loose that time. We get a runoff. Not so much, though. They are looking really wrecky in front of us up there, making me nervous. But we got three to go. Look a little free there, off. That lap time was 33. I got the famous 4.5 second damage. Go. I okay, like we <laughs> we got to go back to the bottom because that was much better. How about three and four? Two more. Let's go. Ooh, ten almost got the wall. On his bumper, heading for the white flag. You just got the white flag. That means one more lap to go. White flag, one more lap. Car outside. Push, push, push. We can catch this car. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. I think it but not enough to actually uh, clear ourselves or else we're getting wrecked. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. Good uh, he's going to have us on that high line. But that's fine, it was a great race. Oh! Well for the clean, uh, Jose. 14th as the 19 car in a 6,000 strength of field. That is absolutely okay with me. And we had a real fun race and kept it clean, 0x. 100% okay with that. The winner is the number two. He's a 9,000 I rating guy.
The number one, also a 9,000 I rating guy, finishes P2. We'll do, oops, Gerg. Yeah, Gerg, everybody. Good race, good win. 56-55 while pushing it hard at the end there. We definitely killed the tires, but at least they were even. I think that might have been helping us out, the fact that they were even at the end there. XD. Uh, I don't know if he's, uh, what he's referring to, but... 25th to 14th. Uh, that is great. And a 60-60 strength of field. We survived some craziness. A lot of guys did not. And we'll see all that here. About half the field with incidents. And, uh... Yeah. I will definitely take it. Let's look at the incidents now. Starting from the beginning. We almost made it to green flag pit stops. We made it to about lap 33, I think it was, before the first caution. Alright, so lap 7 is the first thing we're going to see, and it's just a blink, so we can keep on moving. Lap 29, this is probably the wreck. Because I, I remember it was this guy it looked like. He gets the wall. He gets the wall again. So, not yet, but I think this is the guy that brought out the caution. He's probably going to hit the wall a, another time here and maybe just bounce off real bad. Oh, yeah, here it is. He's in the grass. He gets real loose on exit there, corrects it into the wall, and it's just all out of sorts for him. Gets into the grass, he goes off the ramp we saw another person go off of earlier. Or later in the race at this point, I guess. And then uh, that's the caution, because this guy's coming. So, that's unfortunate. I definitely uh, understand it though, because I had that loose moment out of four the one time, and I was able to prevent it from going into the grass. Oh, that's just an ill-advised three-wide move there by the 13. Yeah, there's not really any room there, I don't think. 17's going for the bottom, the 11's going for the middle, and there's just no room for that right there. He's taking lane one and a half, and then, big surprise, it doesn't work. This is kind of what I was talking about, like, when you get these high strength of fields, um, drivers kind of expect other drivers to be absolutely perfect. Like, theoretically, yeah, you can fit your car in there, but uh, are these two guys going to leave the perfect amount of space? Like, probably not. Should they even need to? That's a good question. And uh, is, the, is iRacing going to be able to handle it? Because it looks like this was netcode assisted. Just a tiny bit, but whenever you give that little room, netcode's going to happen. So, just personally, I tend to assume leave a little extra room because sometimes iRacing says you didn't leave enough, even if maybe you technically did. So, very aggressive move there, and it doesn't work out. We were able to dodge this one as well. Getting heavy on our brakes. Because you can see we are on the outside over here. And the wreck is moves to the outside. And I'm seeing these guys crashing. I know guys are going down low. I'm kind of thinking maybe they're going to slide down the track. And they eventually do, but it takes longer than I expect. But I am able to get around it. Getting on my brakes pretty good, but not locking them up. So thankfully, I was able to see it early. Brake. Not all the way, so I'm not skidding my tires, but enough to where it's getting slowed down pretty good. And slow it down just enough that I can steer around it. And uh, we got our spots back because we didn't touch anything, so that's good. So moving on, we got some guys sitting in the pits after that. At 44, 27, gonna get the wall on the outside. Nope, close enough though. So. And here, 20 gets into the back of the 14, and then this was a huge wreck. Wow, you saw me me sliding through there. That uh, is the one we barely missed. So let's take a look here. So the 20 just kind of runs over the 14 because everyone's racing so close to one another. They all get caught in it. I'm just trying to stay low as that's happening, but I know I got these guys down below us. Almost so close to getting that 4 there. Because uh, 
I know we got people down here, so I can't just dive left, because if I overreact and dive down left, I'd probably get hooked by the 6, or just slam into the 21 if I go down that far. I know I've got to move up, because they might run into me. So I just have to kind of thread the needle, and wow, I got close. And then, I don't know what happened to the guy right there. If he panicked and money shifted or something, no, he got nose damage. Oh yeah, that killed it. And I have to go around him carefully because he's slowly, uh, or he's quickly slowing down. So I guess we'll take another look from the cockpit on this one. <laughs> Just barely, barely able to make it through. That was some luck, I think, and uh, just was able to make some good decisions. Other guys behind us were not so lucky. Five gets through. I don't know, maybe most people did make it through. Some guys slow down a whole lot. That's probably smart. Whoa, home spins it though. Lots of fast cars caught up in that one, like the four. That's a 7.4 KI rating guy that probably would have beat us. And this is later, lap 74, the five gets loose. Thankfully no chain reaction there, causing a wreck. And he gets the wall again. And we're able to get by. I didn't even see this guy, I don't think. Because I remember... Oh, no, I did see this guy, because... Okay, because I was wondering what happened here. I didn't see exactly what happened. I just saw a slower car up high, not knowing exactly what was going on, and I knew I had to leave a lane. I wonder if the 21 thought I was blocking him. I was not trying to block him. I just only have a single monitor, so I couldn't see exactly how much room I needed to leave. I thought the 21, like, raced me a little hard later. I was not trying to block him, for the record. All I knew is I had to leave a lane because there was ha this happening here, and I saw the 21 was kind of coming up with speed, so I thought, like, if there is room, maybe he can s go through right there, but he kind of chose the same spot as me. So that probably made me look bad, but... Not trying to block. I don't block. That's not really something I keep in my toolbox. But it kind of ended up being that way right there, unfortunately. Only time I would block is maybe like coming to the checkered flag out of four or something. And even then, I'm not going to overdo it. I'm probably going to just try to make them have to steer around me. And even then, I'm like, eh, maybe not. I'm still having some handling issues, but he's okay right here. That just looked like it was very tough to handle. Nothing there. Coming close to the end of this thing. I'm glad it ended under green, for sure. Nothing there. I think we're probably just getting some uh, old tires showing up and uh, not much else. Maybe some wall hits. Close to it. Hey, I guess uh, since we're here, we might as well watch this. Us trying to get by the uh, number 10 on the last lap. I could have really, like, gone crazy right there, but. I, I, I didn't think I was going to clear him, and even if I did, that would be cutting it real close. I can't really gun it up anyway, because the car is loose when you, when you try to do that. I wasn't really necessarily clear anyway. So we, we make another attempt down low, but he's able to hold it alongside us there. And the car's tighter in 3 and 4, so... I'm able to gas it up more, but it's not turning as much. So I'm not quite able to get the pass done at the end. 
that's okay, because we still got P14 as the 19. So very happy with that. Um, 25th to 14th, keep it clean. Oh, look at that, the 15. The guy that spun while in last <laughs> finishes ahead of us. That's interesting. I don't think he did it on purpose, but funny how that worked out for him. Um, anyway, P14, we'll look at the race results page, which uh, should look pretty good, I think. We should gain some I rating, just because of how strong the field was. No idea what like championship points are going to look like. It's probably going to be pretty darn good, even though it's only 14th. Here it is, popping up right now. We remember it was 60-60 on the strength of field. Here it is. How many splits did we have? Four. The two gets the win, pads his 9,000 I rating. Got some pro drivers in here. And uh, we got this schmuck down in 14th. 16 I rating, 56, 77, and 178 for 14th place. That's pretty wild. 345 championship points for the winner. Just absurd. Uh, I'm really happy that I was able to finish this one clean, though. Dodge the wrecks, get a solid finish. Uh, I'm I'm very happy with that and how it, everything turned out. Um, I mean, I've raced the 10 before, and I almost uh, was able to get by him. He's usually a guy that just kicks my butt. He's usually a guy winning the race, and uh, I'm back there in, like, I don't know, sixth at best, usually. So to finish right behind him, I feel like I did a really good job here in this one. So there's the rest of your field, including some fast guys caught in the wrecks. I mean, pretty much everybody in here was fast. So, I mean, the guy with the fastest lap, 27th, because he got caught up in, uh, in some mess. So, all right, that was pretty exciting. Very intense racing. Um, I'm kind of curious, split number two. I wonder if I can bring that up. I don't think that's going to show up but I'm uh, for you guys. But, uh, yeah, split number two was 31-79 strength of field. So, I mean, second split was a pretty strong strength of field just because so many people signed up and everything so crazy uh competitive race i'm happy with our finish and i hope you enjoyed watching it i uh, appreciate you and i will see you in the next one have a good one